Yo, what's going on guys? I wanna make this video about visualization, okay? This is the importance of the mental gym. This is something that a lot of people fuck up and uh, mistake as some woo-woo magic bullshit. I'm here in the fucking Audi A5, a whip that I paid for with art money, uh, literally doing whatever it is that I wanna do, which is art and creating services and products for people that they are willing to pay for and are inspired to and align with my higher calling. And so, the reason I'm sharing that and why it's important to understand how the fuck I got in this car is that I'm successful in a category of work where most people consider it to be impossible. The general consensus of the public and the viewpoint of the public is that artists are starving and struggling and all this fuckery. I'm talking a little bit faster today because I'm in between meetings and I'm a little bit strapped for time, but I commit to these videos and I'm going to post it anyways, um, just, so, just for context. But with that in mind, I've seen this for a long time. I've been living in a future state, a place of mind mentally where my dreams had come true off of the thing that I was inspired to do. And in terms of visualization and how this ties to you is that there is a version of life that you are called to live. It's a, a version of life that is your successful expression. It is the version of you that has done and achieved all of the things that you want to achieve. And there isn't fear, there isn't scarcity, there isn't this sense of like loss or lingering dread that most people are living in in the earlier stages of their development. And when it comes to sort of making this shit real, you have to spend a good amount of time in that imagined state, that future state that you are envisioning while simultaneously working to make it real. Because a lot of people will brush it off thinking it's like, oh, well, if I just fucking visualize it, like there's no Lambo going to fall out of the sky. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. But any great achievement, any great accomplishment or creation was first created in the mind, but it wasn't without work in the physical plane that that came to fruition. And so as a kid, I've been shopping for luxury. I've been putting myself in luxury cars. I've been going around and experiencing the things that were required in order for me to have a reality with the life that I now live. And the greatest challenge along the way of, of visualizing while your current reality doesn't really match up with that visualization is maintaining the belief and the, and the certainty of mind that it will come true. It will become a reality. And that's where people fuck it up because they expect that like, okay, well, if it didn't work while I thought about it one time, then it's not working. No, that's not how it goes. You have to literally spend basically all of your time in that mental state while adjusting and acting in your current reality at, in accordance with that higher state in order to bring it into your reality and to pull that experience into your reality while simultaneously putting yourself in circumstances and environments that match up with that, right? Like there's many of you watching this who are probably living a little bit under the line in terms of what would be an abundant and an exciting experience for you. Like you probably aren't spending as much money on rent as you would like to, uh, or rather you're probably not living in a place that you would like to or driving a car that you would like to or approaching women or uh, pitching offers at the level that you would like to because you're afraid of what happens if you get rejected or if you fail or if you're not gonna be able to pay for it or whatever. And the reality is, is that if this is really your path, if you are really doing what you're inspired to do, you will come up with the resources and opportunities and the resourcefulness that is required to pull through on it. You're never gonna have a challenge or an experience that you yourself aren't called towards or capable of sustaining. Everything that you're going through is going to be perfectly aligned with what it is that you were asking for deep down. But because most people are so afraid to actually go the next level, they stay at a level of like uh, of sustainable mediocrity that just keeps them in a basic basement suite, fucking whatever crib with roommates and whatever. And so they never really get to experience that stretch that comes with like fucking buying a program on credit or fucking, you know, going into an apartment, uh, contract where you don't know how you're going to pay for month uh, the next month's rent. It's more than you've ever spent. I did that twice in the last year and I've always made more money than I needed in order to sustain it because I was committed to forward progress. I wasn't going to allow myself to fail. My standard was succeeding in that environment. And so the only way that you are ever gonna have what you want is to, to first see it and then believe that you are going to do whatever is necessary to make it happen and then just trust that intuitively and spiritually and on every fucking level, you are going to find a solution, even if it's fucking scary. Now, 
I understand if you're alone and you don't really have people around you to support you in making some more drastic uh, jumps, just start with something that's like at least gonna move the needle. You wanna consistently every single day build momentum towards those goals and dreams and eventually you will get around the people who will be able to support you in making the more drastic uh, leaps of faith that are required to really you know, turn this into an exciting video game of uh, fulfillment and, and, and inspiration, right? And so I hope that this finds you guys well and you you get something out of it. It's not my favorite sort of setting in order to produce a video, but again, just like I teach all my guys, it, it's not about all, all optimal uh, circumstances. It's about being ready anytime and being able to communicate anytime, delivering value. Like I'm in fucking traffic right now. People are going crazy. It's not ideal at all, but I am committed to getting you guys the value and showing up here daily and making sure that this message is heard so that we can move on to the next step and get this shit fucking popping. So if you guys are with me, you resonate with this stuff, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe, share this fucking video with people. It's something I don't say in the videos enough, but we need to get these numbers up so the message can spread. And in the meantime, I hope you have a phenomenal day. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.